Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, here it is another Wednesday, and today we have for you the subject of Goddess Within, what it means. Sometimes I like to chant Goddess Within, Goddess Within, Goddess Within. And what does it mean when I chant Goddess Within? Goddess Within means that Goddess is inside each and every one of us. And what does this mean? What, what is, why is uh, Goddess Within important? And why, why, how could she be inside each one of us? How could Goddess be inside each and every single one of us? Well, I will attempt to answer that question in this video. Goddess Within is the Goddess. And our bodies ourselves, our souls, are her dwelling place. She makes her home inside each and every one of us. So we don't have to look for her outside because she's already inside of you. Now, a lot of people do look outside of themselves for goddess and or for God, whichever they believe in. They look everywhere. They look in temples, they look in ashrams, they look in churches, they look everywhere for goddess, not realizing that she's inside each and every one of us right now. And this is important because um, everybody wants to find her, everybody's searching and looking for her, and they, they look for a male god, and they look for uh, different various things, but they don't realize that she's inside of us already, that goddess is within us. And in fact, she, she makes her dwelling place, the seed of the soul is, is her dwelling place, and she, she experiences everything we experience, she sees everything that we see, and she knows everything that we know and she experiences us minute by minute minute by minute she is experiencing us by dwelling inside of us so she knows you she knows your opponent she knows your friend she knows your family she knows everybody because she's inside each and every single one of us all the time and goddess within loves us very much goddess dwelling within us she sees all of us and she still loves us just the way we are so goddess is accepting of us goddess cares about us and she doesn't she doesn't accept the bad things we do necessarily but she accepts us as people she accepts us as people and that's an important distinction to make because some people think well i'm the the net package i'm the full package i'm everything that's good and everything that's bad well in a way that's kind of true but not really because you can choose to be bad and it's a choice but it doesn't it isn't reflective on who you are at your core and because goddess is within us, some people think, well, I'm the goddess. I am goddess. I am the almighty, all-powerful one. And it's not true because uh, just because goddess is within you doesn't mean you are goddess. Now, goddess is a part of you, and you're a part of goddess. But that doesn't mean you are the goddess. You're not the full-fledged form of the almighty goddess. You're not the the full Monty, so to speak. You're not, you're not the one. You're not the one. So goddess is the one, and we all have her in each, inside each and every one of us. She dwells within, and 
she watches us and she watches our progress us her children and she loves us she loves us very much so the next time you think about goddess think about goddess within and think about how she dwells within you and how she watches you and knows your life and loves you and also think that you also have a little bit of divinity yourself just a spark of divinity yourself because she dwells within you she's a part of you and you're a part of her so there's a very intimate relationship between mother and child we're all her children she doesn't have just one child one only begotten son or one perfect human being that's her only one that's her only son or only daughter no, she's got many sons and many daughters. We're all her children. So remember you're a child of goddess every single day. Remember you've got goddess within you and that you have a spark of divinity within you, even though you're not the goddess herself. You're not the goddess herself, but you are a part of her. So just remember that every day and... Um, Purification is coming up very soon. Remember, put mark it on your calendar. It's beginning February 15th. So fe February 15th, we're all going to follow a vegan diet. And uh, purification lasts about a month. So it's, it's not too long. And it's not too long this year. And uh, just mark it on your calendars, February 15th, purification begins. And I'll see you next time.